Hello all, Sirius Lees here, back for some more of this old save, and today we are going to tackle some frigate fleet stuff. As you can see, I got one ship there, that was a five-star mission. <laughs> we have a full fleet over here, we gotta recall that. Anything else? No, I think we only sent out the two missions today. So, first things first, I've been trying to level up the living ship, the, the living freighter, the Leviathan, since we got it, since it's been unlockable. It's taken me quite a while. I have not been keeping up with the frigate missions every day, but I have discovered something on the multiple saves that I'm doing this on. And that is, <clears throat> here we are at the second last level. This will be the stats before it hits its final level. It says we're at 7%. We're at 54 missions. It's currently out on a mission and you saw it was green. So we can recall this. It'll go to 55 and somehow level up from seven to 100% whatever we'll take it we'll get the new stats we'll see what they are see what they've gone up to and what your living ship or organic vessel will get up to eventually because apparently they're all the same all of the normandies that i ever leveled up all got to the same amount speaking of <clears throat> this one is already at 55 these are the max stats of the normandy frigate so what we're going to do after we recall these ships is go through and dismiss a bunch of ships. We're not going to replace them today. Uh, we're just going to dismiss. All right, so let's go recall some missions. Uh, I don't know when the last time we were on the freighter is, but I also did a minor amount of decorating. I painted and put up a couple decals, but that's about it. Uh, let's call this guy back first. Okay, a little bit of room there. We were scrapping ships. That's enough room to get any uh, weird stuff that comes back, like relics or whatever, because that goes to your main inventory. Uh, we could put this. This was also from scrapping ships. Put that away. Did we get regular cadmium or activated? That's garbage. We'll sell it. Nitrogen salt. These are from previous frigate missions. Uh, I think we're doing pretty good on inventory. Ooh, we're down to one unstable plasma. We have been using our uh, paralysis mortar quite a bit. I keep forgetting it's equipped, and I think I'm going to use the combat scope, and I shoot off a paralysis mortar. <laughs> Whoops. All right, I'm not going to read these one at a time. I think I saw super uh, conductors. What are they called? Oh, no, semiconductors, not super. We can make them into super, but we probably won't bother. This is the one we want to recall, because it has, even though it looks like a Normandy up there, that's that's the living vessel, the Leviathan. So, <clears throat> the thing I discovered is despite my belief, for no evidence whatsoever, that longer frigate missions help your ships level up faster, that is definitely not the case. It is the exact opposite of the truth. Uh, the shorter the mission, the more that ship can do in the same day, and the faster it will level up. So what I've started doing is sending my frigates out on short missions that I will be able to send another one out before the reset the next day, and level up just five or six at a time, because we can do that. So let's go back to our fleet and check the Leviathan. Ooh, look, it went from 13 to 14. I don't I remember what the other stats were, but I was paying attention to the lowest. So it did level up. We have no more progress meter. Bam, done at 55. Okay. Um, the other thing, none of the other ships we sent out seem to have progressed to S-Class. Let's see about this way here. Did they go from C to B? I can't remember. Uh, this has three modules. Let's take a peek. Industry, no, that's not a good, not a good gain. So let's quickly go over what my progress metrics are going to be as we go here. For now, I'm going to keep all of these support ships that are S-Class. The ones that have made it here have made it here. Uh, we'll deal with it. 2%, 15 to fuel, not very great. We could go in and take a peek. 2% uh, duration, hard to read there. And 15 to fuel, and the rest is just stats. You know, not that great. 
We're going to keep it because 2% is the second best one I've got right now of support frigates. 4% is the best one I've got. I'm having really bad luck with the support frigates. But as you can see, we have a pretty good exploration here. This will be the max bonuses it ever gets, but we've got a lot more uh, expeditions to level it up and gain more stats. 5% uh, and nothing to fuel, but that's okay. <clears throat> Similarly, we have another explorer down here that already got a 2%. We'll keep leveling this up to S-Class to see what it gets. Uh, if it gets another 3% module, or if it gets a 3% module and becomes another 5% exploration ship, we'll keep the two of them. We'll keep the pair and see which one gets better stats when it levels up all the way. Uh, so that's what we're going to do there. Uh, but let's look at the support ships because that's what I really want the most on this save because if they get stats like... This one here, this the stats on this are pretty good. Let's go find. Let's try to send it on a mission by itself. Uh, what was the name of that? Oh, we're gonna have to go look when we go in here. All right, what missions you got for us? Uh, all right, it doesn't matter. Let's pick a combat mission and see if that can five star by itself. Uh, this one here, twenty four percent. Something survivor. Yeah, combat mission. All right, so it will not be able to five-star a uh, trade mission or an exploration mission by itself. So that's not ideal, but but if we back out of here and don't send it on that mission and go back to our fleet management screen and check it out, this ship is also not max level. It will gain more stats, and if I think it needs to get to 16 in here and here. This one was at 93, right? And this one was at 90. So we're pretty close to getting five stars in everything on a support ship. So that's great by itself. You could send this on a 24 hour mission and it'll cost you like 50 fuel. It's pretty great. Uh, but if it's not five stars, it's not five stars and you'll have to send two ships and that's 100 fuel. We don't want that. So uh, the 24 to fuel is also pretty good. Uh, a 24% Let's try and send that one out again on a very long mission and see what the fuel cost is. I believe it will be 50. Uh, the longest mission we have is 21 hours. We might actually be able to send that one for free, but I think it needs to be 27 to be free or 30. So let's see what we get. 50 tons by itself, and it is only a uh, four-star mission because this is a trade mission. All right, so let's back out and let's go and delete some ships. Problem is, our ships aren't getting what we want as we level up. So I'm gonna level up pretty much everything to A-class. I'm gonna wait till they get to A-class. However, sometimes they hit uh, B-class here and you can tell they're not gonna be good. This combat one, I'm sending out all the time because it's gonna be probably great. A combat ship with minus 10 to fuel costs? That's fantastic. Even if it has no duration reduction bonuses, fuel cost reduction is huge. Super important to me. And the stats on a combat vessel, even if they're super duper low when it hits 55 expeditions, no big deal to me. Uh, we've got the modules that a support class can five star uh, combat missions. We don't need a combat ship. I just like the variety in my fleet. So we're going to keep that one because it's got great stats. Uh, let's look at this one though. 2%? Yeah, we're going to definitely level this one up because the motivated crew could go alongside two plus threes. We could get a plus nine, or no, I think a plus six, or minus six, sorry, to fuel cost is the best a trade ship can get. Maybe it's only minus three to fuel cost. Anyway, we'll see what it gets. It's a pretty good trade ship, minus two already. Mm -hmm. The Iruno we looked at already. This could level up okay. It could get it could get nine to fuel cost. That would make this cost a lot less than it does. Uh, <clears throat> is that the twenty-seven? Yeah, that would be the twenty-seven. So if it gets a nine and a six as its next two upgrades, that would be a thirty-three reduction to fuel. That will actually reduce the cost of other ships in your fleet, uh, even on long missions. So. Let's see which ones are bad. I think all of our B-class ones are passable for now. That's good news. I must have accidentally leveled up the B-class one I wanted to showcase as not that great. 
Uh, okay, well here, here we go. Here's a C class that I might not level up. I might just dismiss this out of hand uh, because its first bonus is completely useless. I don't, it, first of all, it's not been damaged. I'm never gonna send out a frigate mission that is less than five stars. My ships aren't going to get damaged. I don't need damage reduction. I don't even know if that works. So that's a wasted bonus module. These are what I am after. The bonus modules are the most important parts to me because these stats are so inconsequential. Once you have uh, fleet coordination stats. Yeah, let's get rid of it. It's gone, boom, got rid of it right away. And uh, I mentioned them, let's bring them up. Nope, wrong button, hit that one there. Freighter. Fleet coordination, mine is 103, but we are wasting a ton of slots to do that. We've got 12 slots used up in here, and 12 slots used up in here, doubling them all. That is a huge consumption of slots. If you want to get this to be a good like 60, 90 even range, depending on the ship that you started with, just put these 12 in, in here using in your storage containers. You want S-class ones for all of them, uh, I don't think there's any that are better or worse than each other, and you do not need the ones that increase your, that claim <laughs> to reduce your fuel costs or claim to increase your fleet speed. They don't do anything. We have previous videos showing they don't work. We'll test that out again in the future. We could probably test it out now, but I don't have any of those modules to install right now. So, we can't. Never mind. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's get back to culling frigates. No, 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 wrong guy. Ronald McDonald, later. We'll send some stuff out before we go today, but that's not what we're doing yet. All right, let's check the other C-classes. Maybe some of them are bad, and that's why they're still C-classes. That's not a bad bonus to industry, but we don't need stats, so that's sort of wasted. There we go, that's a much better bonus, even though it's the worst we could possibly get for duration. I'll take that over the second best we could get for industry. Yeah, just no thanks. Uh, yes, please. So, you know what? We're getting rid of this guy too. No, you know what? I said I'll level him up to A class. He's got three more modules he can gain. I could get a 3% reduction of uh, duration and a 3% and a 2%. This could be a really good ship. I'm, I'm not gonna get rid of it. I'm gonna cut it some slack, see what it gets. We talked about that other combat ship. It was pretty good. This one's first bonus was a bonus to combat, and it's a low one. It can go two, four, or six because it's a combat ship. So we might pass on this, but not yet. We'll see what happens when it hits B-class, and if it gets something like damage reduction, it's a goner. We checked the B-class ones already. We're keeping them. Let's hit up support in A-class. I can tell by these stats that they are worth keeping. <clears throat> they're still leveling up. They've got one more bonus to gain. That's what these dots are. Are there bonuses or detriments? We have nothing but detriments, which is great. And these are 2% already, so they will uh, potentially be able to get 5% because they can gain a 3% module. That'll be good for me. And so we're going to see what we get with that. This one here, I haven't even bothered to rename with the bonus to its fuel reduction, so I'm guessing this is like a 15 or an 18 with no other bonuses yet. 15 damage reduction and two stat bonuses. This could gain one more module that we like, but at best we're going to get a, uh, let's see, now a 24 reduction to fuel cost or a 3% reduction to duration. I'm not looking for that as a ship, especially when we could have a better one. So this one's a goner. Yeah, just just get out of here. All right, let's see. What else we got? Another 2%. I don't know. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot that we were naming them with two asterisks. Asterix I? I don't know. Asterix? Two asterix? If uh, they're not S-class yet. And then when they hit max level, we'll get rid of both of the asterisks. I don't know. I don't know what they're called. How do you plural that word? Uh, okay. This one we also didn't name, so it's probably pretty bad. 15 and just stats. I think we're going to dismiss that. It's A class. The best it's ever going to get is 24 or 3%. So that's gone too. Stats were okay, but that's just not good enough. Uh, this one's already at 21. 
let's see. Ooh. That's not that bad. Because those are the two worst possible fuel cost reduction modules. So if it gains another fuel cost reduction module, it has to either be a 6 or a 9. I believe there's only two of each kind you can get, of each level. Two different names, like two antimatter cycler and large tanks are the three. We could find the one that had a six. Did we have one with a six? <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, advanced power distributor is a six. And I don't think I have any other sixes on my fleet. Oh, there it is. Yeah, oversized fuel scoop. Oh, oh, antimatter cycler. Was that the same one that we saw mm, on this one? Yes, it is. Okay, good. Those are the two that you can get then. Uh, yeah, it could be good. It could be good. We'll keep that one. Uh, if it gains a 9, that'll become a 30 percenter, which is, well, I keep calling it a percent, a 30 reduction to fuel. I don't know what the number is. Similarly, I'm just scrolling through this way with the A and D keys right now. Let's go back to the here so we can see what we're looking at. We're on this one now. Yeah, similarly, these are two really bad modules, but it could be passable. It could be a 3% reduction with 21. That's okay. It's okay. It's, it's better than the 2% 15, right? So we'll keep it for now, and we'll go get better ones later. Uh, exploration, we looked at already. All right, I think we're done culling, unless we want to call some of these S classes, but I said I didn't want to. I'm just not sure that I want to level them up over other ships. So, fortunately, now that I have this Leviathan level, leveled up, I can stop leveling, sending it out at all, for now, and I can focus on leveling up some of these others a bit faster, and we're going to work on that right now. So the ones I want to level up the most are the lowest level ones. So we're going to start with them, and I'm going to pick a mission that will be finished. Let's see what time of day it is for me right here locally. I need a mission that's going to be eight hours or so, and if we get some mission duration reduction on this one, that might fit the bill, so let's try that. And the reason I want eight hours is because eventually I'm going to go to bed, and I'm going to wake up, and I'm going to send another mission before uh, I have to go to work, and then I'll have two missions done that day with the same fleet, and they'll gain double the experience. So. Uh, lowest level, but ones with the best bonuses. We didn't get rid of that industrial one, but we're going to try leveling this one up first. Uh, the combat ship we want to level up is this one. These two, let's go with support for the rest. And any of these three here that have the 2% bonus. Let's see. Konichi's prize and the departure. The departure will depart. 100 tons for an 8-hour mission, that's pretty bad, but that's because I'm sending two non-support frigates. Even though this one has a minus 10, that's not enough to pay for itself, uh, on a 9-hour mission at least. 100 tons is not that bad, though. We can make more. And since I'm not going to be using up <clears throat> this 5-hour mission, or probably I'm only going to be using up one of these in the morning when I wake up, so I can send out fleets on all of the other missions if I want. Let's see, this was 21 hours, let's go with that. And we will level up that trade ship we saw that seemed promising. And that is a five star mission by itself, right? Do we want to send anything with it? You know, we, you know what? Uh, all we have is that, we can't reduce the cost or the duration. Uh, but that's pretty good. It'll be done before the reset tomorrow, so that's fine by me. See ya by yourself on a long mission. You'll be fine. At uh, 5 hour 1, I think we have another trade ship, or did we dismiss that? We did. It was awful. That's right. I remember now. But what we can do is send out... Oh, that's a 5 hour mission? Let's do that on one of the longer missions. Let's show a combat mission with support ships. Uh... And here, and I do want to keep sending these ones out, even though they're already S-Class, because they will gain more stats. So we're going to send that one, and we will send this one, this one, this one, this one. I want to see what the stats get to. It's pretty good. 50 tons of fuel. We could probably do better. If we sent that out on that five-hour mission, that would be free. 
almost for sure. Let's try that. Oh. Double right click. Gets you every time. Five hours, 42 minutes. Send out those same ships. It's the 4%. This one. Uh, this one. This one. And... This one? Yeah, it's free. Bam. Let's do that. We're going to spend a lot more fuel this way. What we should have done is sent our expensive ships on the short mission and our support ships on the longer mission because 50 tons of fuel is not a lot. That's what this one used to cost. Let's see what it costs now when we send other ships. Uh, actually, we don't really have anything else to level up except support ships, so let's just send <laughs> two support ships. It'll probably be 50 tons of fuel as well. Um, we did say we do want to level these up. So let's send them. We may as well. They need the experience. 200 tons of fuel. Yeah. Oof, ow. Should have sent these guys on the five hour mission. And then they'd be stuck with Gilligan. All right. Well, that's pretty much it for today. I can see my bridge finally spawned in on my uh, freighter there. Did you see that? The whole time we were looking, my bridge was just a ghost image of the, uh, the tractor beams. Yeah, look at that. He's got a model of our Leviathan here on his desk. <laughs> Wonder who put that there. All right, so let's take a peek, see which rooms we've got to go to later in the morning. Yeah, this one specifically, and that one. We don't have to worry about the single ship by itself. We're not sending that one back out, probably. We don't have the missions. We only got one extra mission. What we could have done is sent out two fleets and saved two of those missions, right? I'll worry about being super hyper efficient some other time. Uh, I think we did pretty good today. Let's make a save. <clears throat> and we have a few minutes left. We're really early today, so we're gonna do one more thing. Head down to Little Eskemi. That's the procedural name of my settlement. And that's another thing while I've been doing this, um, I've, leveling up the frigates, sending them out on missions, playing daily as if it's a, an MMO with daily quests to do. That's a great way to level up your settlement. Uh, every time you go and send out your frigate missions, go check in on your settlement. If you're only playing once a day, you'll have something new to do. Uh, if you're playing on the weekend, every half hour to an hour, go check in on your settlement. Even if you don't see an update pop up, you probably have one. If you're playing for two hours in a row, that's like three probably progress meters on your settlement. So let's see what we have today. I believe last time I was here, I killed a couple of corrupt sentinels, so we shouldn't have to worry about that. And the lag isn't too bad today, so it should spawn in nice and fast. Yeah, look at that. That was great. You can even skip the load-in screen there. And I know we just made a manual save, but let's make another one right here in case the change that we, or the item we choose, is not something we like. And before we make a decision, or greet a visitor, let's take a look at our stats. Finally got this puppy up to 100% happiness. Look at all the happy people you can fit in here. And our productivity is down. We had this over 900,000, and the meter did actually drop when it went down, but I was it was worth it to get it up to 100. As far as I'm aware, this can't go down. We'll see how that goes. Uh, the last visitor I greeted replaced something here and gave us this delicate meringue synthesizer, which apparently decreases maintenance costs. But the only thing that changed was that our maintenance costs went up by 100,000. So whatever he replaced was better. <laughs> and. I'm just happy it didn't decrease our productivity or happiness or population. Let's see what our visitor has. I'm actually hoping it's population. Give us a tech that gives us a settler. There you go, plus one population growth. Boop boo. And it does not de remove anything else. It adds virgin veteran mercenaries, cool, and a population. And it costs us maintenance per day, per day but it doesn't add something or take away something from the, the settlement, which is great. I am absolutely going to take that. So we're up to 50, f I can't remember, 50 something, 55. Are we at 55 yet? Let's view our stats. 53, we were at 52, we're at 53 now. There we go. 
All right, well, we did frigates and settlement today. Some nice daily missions, got some resources done. I'll have to go buy some more support frigates and start leveling them up. Uh, but oh, I can't remember where I bought those blue frigates at, so I'm gonna have to go find that on my recordings and we'll visit that system some other time. But until then, everyone, have a good time.